Local Motors has a community that right now has about 30,000 people in it that contribute ideas, designs, and engineering expertise to a variety of projects that are generally vehicular innovations. Back in early 2013, we started this project to build a 1920s board track racer inspired motorized bicycle, where the idea was that we would build a bike that would be street legal as a bicycle so you could ride it in the bike lane and would provide people a means of getting around town that would be very efficient. We had about 100 entries and the winner from the boating from the community and from local motor selection process was far and away the aerial cruiser from Giannis Vassilados of Romania. It's a fantastic looking bike. Everybody that sees it just immediately falls in love with it. It's very unique. So with a 1920s board track racer, you've got some pretty specific sets of uh, stylistic cues where back in the 20s people didn't really you know, have the full understanding of uh, structural engineering that we have today and bicycle design was still kind of very, it wasn't really new but like motorcycle design was just kind of evolving so the style that Giannis came up with was very close to a lot of the early, early motorcycles that you saw back then and uh, kind of brought it together in a motorized bicycle. And so one of the big challenges has been taking this inspiration of this design, this beautiful design that he came up with and applying modern technology to it and modern materials so that we actually have a bike that is much more robust than any of those bikes that you would have seen back in the 1920s, but it still has the same flavor, the same feel as uh, an old school board track racer. So the first prototype bike has really taken us about two months to get completed. Uh, we had an actual running bike in about a month, but what we found is that we wanted to tweak so many little things. We had to get the gearing just right. There's been a lot of evolution over these last two months, and now we're building jigs so that we can replicate the frame exactly. There were so many uh, iconic shapes on this bike that would have been very hard to produce by most traditional means, at least in the time period that we had. So with all the rapid prototyping technology that's available today, from our water jet that we have to quickly produce two-dimensional parts to the 3D printing that we used to actually piece together this engine cover and the uh, fuel tank cover and everything, just I don't know that it really would have been possible to do anything that was this complex and this unique just a few years ago as quickly as we're doing it right now. I'm actually a designer, but I'm working in a theater. I'm a production manager there, and by night, I design cars eh? and bikes. The trip was uh, fantastic. There are very nice people here, and I love them. It's okay, it's really cool. It's like being home. It's that feeling that I, I, I'm home here. So it's been really satisfying to be working on building this prototype bike, seeing it come to life, and then seeing everybody go out riding it, coming back with such a look of excitement on their face. People are really excited about it, and we can't wait to get these things into production, get them out into people's hands.